newest member of Boeing's flight test team. This unmanned aerial system made its Boeing debut during 737 MAX water spray testing in Glasgow, Montana. For the first time, engineers will have a view from above as well as below, capturing footage to help determine how the airplane will stand up against Mother Nature's torrents. Water spray testing is one of the certification tests that we have to do to validate that any uh, water sprayed up by the nose gear or, or main gear will not have any negative effects on the engine performance or APU performance. To do this testing, a team of engineers turned this runway into a trough built with foam blocks and glue. They used a fire hose to fill it with 3,000 gallons of water simulating a wet runway. For the first time, they're testing the water spray on the auxiliary power unit inlet, redesigned to feature a retractable door for the 737 MAX. They'll need the airplane to travel at near takeoff speeds to create a bigger splash. You'll notice pieces of the foam flying through the air, designed to break free as the airplane passes over. So my challenge was when I line up for each condition, I can't see the trough, I can't see the, the lines yet until I'm at a high speed and I'm close. Precision is key to making sure the water hits the airplane where it's supposed to. Documenting every drop, flight test photography. Our primary role in shooting water spray is to document the spray pattern as the water uh, crests out of the trough and over the aircraft, and they want to uh, ensure that it's not penetrating into the engine. Now they can document it more safely and efficiently. It took lots of teamwork, coordination, and planning to incorporate the UAS into the water spray test, leading up to the big splash. I think it taught a lot of people uh, we can do this, we can make changes, and we can try new things, and we can be better, faster, cheaper, stronger, more awesome um, than we have in the past.